Welcome to Nick's Fort, my name is Nick, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to film B-roll using sound. And this is gonna like level up your B-roll to the next level, and today, I'm at, it's actually tonight, but I'm gonna do it with my boy Cody. Hold on. Oh, let's do this thing, man. I'm amped, I'm amped, I am amped right now. Look where we are. We, we are in Seattle, <laughs> and uh, it is late. And I don't know if this is in focus. It is no longer. Right, it's it is, on manual. It's, it's on manual focus, so if this is blurry, I'm sorry. But um, yeah, so we're gonna do this exercise, and you can do this too, and it's gonna help you film better B-roll, and that's the point. So we're gonna find a spot to sit down and get comfortable for about five minutes. So what we're going to do is we're gonna set a timer on our phone for five minutes, and then we're gonna sit right here, and we're gonna sit here quietly, not talking, Close your eyes if you want to. You gonna close your eyes? I'm gonna, I'm gonna close them. He's gonna close his eyes, unless he's taking the notes. But you're gonna set a timer five minutes and you're gonna listen and you're write down every single sound you hear and that, that's all you have to do. You just listen, you write down all the sounds you hear and as you sit there, you're gonna get bored and it's gonna get kind of weird, but you're gonna find like layers of depth to the soundscape. And then we're gonna go film B-roll of that sound. So five minutes on the timer. You got a timer ready? Get it in there, gets this one, and then, boom, five on the timer, ready? No, I'm not ready, hold on. All right, so the five minutes is up, and now I'm going to read my list of sounds that I wrote down. Um, I'm gonna start at the top, kids talking, cars driving by, sprinklers, fountain, brakes, squeaking, tires on cement cracks, I know that's very specific, but I heard it, uh, plane, bike chain, construction on the space needle, uh, a metal grate slapping from a, co a car driving over it, beeping on the elevator, some distant horns or music or something, and a, a vehicle starting. So those are the sounds that I heard as I sat here and listened, and that's what I got. Let's see what Cody has. Nick is a better sound listener than I, but uh, here's what I got. C cars, fountain, parking garage door open close. I think it's over there. Uh, it's like a squeaky thing. People walking and talking, cyclists, kids playing on a sculpture, guy playing saxophone over there, kids screaming, airplane landing, something hammering in the space needle, <laughs> and a trolley bus squeak. Was the like space needle thing not the like most like disconcerting? I was like, like um, <laughs> it's falling down. It's definitely falling down right now. I was like, just kept looking at it. You can see it in the time lapse. I'm like, what's happening? Someone. We both were outside? like looking up. We were like, um, <laughs> yeah. we're below this thing. That was disconcerting. That for sure. should definitely not be making a noise. I was right. like, that's not okay. That's not the right noise. Um, <laughs> so now, um, here, yep. I want to. We're we're just low light. We got to make sure the focus is on point here. So now we're gonna take the list of things that we heard and we're gonna go film b-roll of that so basically what you can do is if you're in a situation where you're filming something and you're not sure like maybe you have a list of b-roll that you want to shoot maybe you're already set but if you sit there for five minutes just take five minutes and you just listen close your eyes and you practice it more and more and more you're gonna you're gonna be able to like paint a better picture of the scene by listening to what's happening and the more you do this the further depth you're going to gain by doing it this is cody's first try and as he admitted a second ago he didn't do his list wasn't as long as mine but that's because i've done this before and you sit there and you find all these layers of sound and i'm not a sound designer but by doing this, you're going to make your B-roll better and your soundscapes better too, because you can gather the sounds that you hear. So now let's go get that B-roll and uh, we'll mash it up and put it here. <laughs> We just ran around, we filmed that B-roll, you just saw that B-roll, and we put it together and we found those different shots because of what we listened to while we were sitting here. 
And I'm curious, like the exercise is really to, to be able to build a soundscape. It's not really about B-roll, but I think it applies to B-roll be be really mm -hmm. well. So I, I don't know, was it helpful for you? Yeah, I think that, so the thing that I always am getting asked is how do you find ideas on what to shoot? Like not necessarily for B-roll, but you know, more about topics for vlogs, whatever. But I th the thing that I love about this is it, it's like, it, it's a perfect parallel Ideas for vlogs come from noticing what's around you. I, the ideas for this B-roll that we just got came from noticing the sounds that we were hearing. And like we, we both built lists. We both were able to go out and capture something, check stuff off. I think that that's super helpful. So uh, I love that. I also love, you know, like we found, we heard people and like people that you don't know are some of the hardest things to shoot because you got to get permission. I they, saw you doing that. Right. They, I filmed you doing that. Okay. <laughs> they, feel, they feel uncomfortable, you know, that whole thing. And it's like, this gets you out of your comfort zone. Like, I felt like I had to get somebody laughing. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, cause that's what I, that was the most what I heard actually. And when I, when I saw you filming someone laughing, I yeah. knew that I didn't have to get someone laughing. Right, right, so right, right. Like, cause that's the hardest cover. thing. That's the hardest thing to do <laughs> is people you don't know. Yeah. So yeah. that was really fun. It got me out of my comfort zone. That's something that I love. But yeah, other than that, just like anytime you can take a second to, or in this case, five minutes to like yeah. get off your phone, and notice what's going on around you in your life. I think in our digital world, like we don't do that. You no, know, we don't do no, that enough. No. So that was a, that was just a really fun. I don't think I would have heard that crazy, like I would have just the construction, whatever that yeah. was. Yeah, yeah. I would never heard. I got that. a shot of a construction guy. Oh, sick! There was definitely construction sick. up there. Yeah. I got a shot of. They're him. hammering yeah, stuff. They're doing some construction. So up there. exactly. Yeah. Pardon the interruption. I just put a rough edit together of this video that you're watching and I realized that I didn't properly share with you guys what Cody's channel is all about. Cody does daily vlogs and they're very inspirational. He motivates people and he has started this movement that is called the No Small Creator Movement and I, I don't wanna get it wrong, so here. This is a movement, a movement to change the narrative that the value of something a creator creates is based on likes and subscribers. And I absolutely love that, hashtag no small creator. The idea is that there's a lot of creators out there doing amazing stuff and they might not have huge audiences, but that doesn't mean that they aren't creating good quality content. So if you guys wanna check out this channel, I have linked it below. I highly recommend you do that. And now back to our exercise, which was super fun. Yeah, and, and like what you just said, um the idea of sitting down and you said a lot of people will say like, oh, how do you come up with ideas for your channel? Yeah. Um, and I made a video recently about how to come up with ideas and yeah. the core of that video was literally the core of this video, which is sit down and do nothing. Mm -hmm. And I literally, I'll like, go out on my porch and I'll sit there and I'll sit there with a notepad and I'll sit there for 20 minutes and I won't do anything. I'll turn right. my phone off. It, it'll just be inside. Yeah. And I, and that's where I come up with these ideas yeah. because you, you don't necessarily, you're not gonna think about it unless you let your mind relax mm -hmm. into a state of boredom where it's like, I don't know what to do. And then it, it comes up with ideas. Right. That's how it works for me at least. People with brains like ours, we don't, we don't understand how to just sit idle. So like when you give yourself idle space, stuff's gonna come in there. And uh, yeah, that's, I mean, that's a fantastic way to get ideas. And, and I think that applies to everyone. Yeah, everyone. Yeah. Um, and also don't move. This is how we're standing right now because we're both very tall and uh, we're just like power standing on the sidewalk. So uh, also another, I think another challenge that you want to do maybe next oh, time yeah, yeah. is like a smell version of this. Cause like oh, I would God. find whoever's smoking weed around wow. here and oh, I would, I, someone is definitely smoking weed like hard and I would just go get I'm, shots yeah, of that. Yeah, it's definitely legal in Washington. <laughs> yeah, so is. that's like, <laughs> that no was, it is. When I came it here, is. I was like, yeah. I think marijuana is legal yeah. here. I think I can hear it. I think yeah. I can hear it. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you guys for tuning in. Check out Cody's channel. Thanks. And uh, if you guys uh, dig this video, give that a thumbs up and clickety clackety. Yeah. If you aren't subscribed, subscribe below and I'll see so, you guys next week. Karate kick that bell, all right? Woo! Hit it. Power stance. <laughs>